reluctantly crouched at the starting line. Engines pumping and thumping in time. The green light flashes, the flags go up. Churning and burning, they yearn for the cup. They deftly maneuver and muscle for rank. Fuel burning fast on an empty tank. Reckless and wild, they pour through the turns. Their prowess is potent and secretly stern. As they speed through the finish, the flags go down. The fans get up and they get out of town. The arena is empty, except for one man still driving and striving as fast as he can. The sun has gone down and the moon has come up. And long ago, somebody left with the cup. But he's driving and striving and hugging the turns and thinking of someone for whom. in a group please all right ladies and gentlemen welcome to the fox footy gift 2021 yes a handicap event over 100 meters now this is a concept that was spawned from a recent charity game after brad johnson gobbed off that he was the quickest at fox footy but i don't think anyone can blame Jono for the fact that you're all here because it was your collective egos that actually grew the embryo into a being everyone said oh i can win this i'm quicker than him when I asked Joey about the race, the first thing he said was, I've got it all covered, please. So, one point of business to take care of early on. We have a late withdrawal. Nick Del Santo's done a warm up. He is out, which means the what? medical sub Tom Morris is no. in. Tom, are you good with that? I was unaware of this. Are you good with running? <laughs> I mean, put me in You're good to go? Yeah. Actually, actually, Scratch. Chief. I'll dig in. I'll do it. You run through the pain? Oh, yeah. It's, it's all yeah. right. I'm taking three neurofen. and I'll be right. I'll get Tom, through. you're out. <laughs> <laughs> Just move to the back, yeah. Tommy. <laughs> all right, now to the all-important handicaps. Yeah. And just understand that no discussion or debate or correspondence will be entered into. Who oh, in lane eight? Andrew Gaze. Get around 25 metres. In lane seven of 15 metres. Shani Layton. In lane six of two metres. Brad Johnson. In lane five, also off two metres. Cameron Mooney. In lane four, off one metre. Lee Montagna. Every bit of that. I need every bit of that. In lane three, off scratch. Bernie Vince. In lane two, also off scratch. Nick Del Santo. And in lane one, yes. off a mark of plus one, yeah. is Mr. Nike Nick Rewa, who is still the favourite for the event. Right. Racing in five minutes. Go and do what you have to do, Can get warmed up, and then we're into it. Beg your pardon? How can you have a favourite when it's handicapped? You've never seen a stall give? <laughs> yes. Some of the great plungers of all time, Floggy. Where are you going? You, you, the bottom lip wavered a little bit when I said plus one. Yeah, well, I was told it was a 100 metre race. I prepared for 100 metres, not 101. Not 101 metres, but we'll find a way. How will you go reeling in the 25 metres of Andrew Gaze? Where, yeah, oh, I'm not worried about that. 35. I'm not worried. I'm not worried about Gazy. I'm not worried about Gazy. Well, I'm not worried about Olivia Newton John. <laughs> so with, uh, Nick Let's get physical. <laughs> Chance, 15 metres, talk to me. What are you thinking? Oh, look, JD, I think, um, I don't think I need it, but I think now I'm going to win by 50 metres, so it's all good. I'll take it. Thanks for thanks for believing in me. You've seen everyone warming up. Do you think Rui is the main danger? Rui is the main danger. But you know what? Remember last, remember a couple of years ago I tried to get drafted? Yeah. And, and it didn't work out. I've kept that dream alive, Chase. I played in that game. I was best on ground in that game, that nines game. If they can see, if they can see my speed here, this mid-season draft might happen again. Most importantly, kids, do we think Dad can win? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, kind of. Wow. Some support. Not exactly a vote of confidence, oh. is it? <laughs> All right, boys. So, moments before the race. 
a mark of one metre. What are you thinking, Joey? Well, I'm watching Gazy all <laughs> And I honestly think if I can't beat Gazy home, I won't be allowed to show my face anywhere. <laughs> I was actually really nervous, Chief, until I saw Gazy <laughs> He just went for a jog and did something in his ass. <laughs> Here he comes, one of Australia's greatest ever sportsmen, Andrew Gaze, our favourite ever flag bearer. He acknowledges the adoring crowd as he leads out a crack field for the time-honoured inaugural Fox footy gift. Oh, this is exciting, Hutto. The tension is building as we count down to the big race. I can't wait. He's been on the world stage. He's led Australia at Olympic Games. I'm not sure he's had a bigger sporting moment than this. You can see the pride. This moment is massive. Let's hope he lives up to it. All right, we're just about ready to go. Last rules. No breaking. If you break, you go back five metres. Everyone understand that? Everyone understand? No breaking. This is the starting gun. It sounds like this. You don't want to hear this. That means you're going back five metres. Understood? OK, let's have no breaks, one good race, and let's all get through. Oh, you can feel the tension, Andrew Gaze. And then look at Charney. Johnson, very serious, the smiling assassin ready to go. Mooney, treating it like a grand final. Hopefully his second or third grand final, not his first. Still trying to look cool. Bernie Vitz, what's he doing there? <laughs> Well, Nick Del Santo taking this very seriously, limbering up, oh. but not as seriously as this man. <laughs> Ridiculous, over-prepared, ready to go. On your marks. So we're set to go. The moment has arrived. Set. Oh, no. Oh. Rebound is broken. Lane one. He yeah. moved. Lane one. Lane one. Take it back. Now five, Chief. Five. Back you go. Yes. What are you doing? Protest. <laughs> Get him off. Get him off. Just take it, mate. Come on, lift your bottom lip. <laughs> on your marks. Set. Away clean this time. Gaze well going, but slowly. Shani moving well. Oh, Vincent Mooney already slipping back. Montaigne bursting. It's tight. Gaze gone. Hands trimmed up. Oh, you heard the twang around the country. Shani has the lead. What an opportunity. Del Santo. And here comes Rebold. Oh, what a champion. What a legend. What a relief. Rui, off plus one. You've won it by ten. How do you feel? It was plus six. <laughs> Were you, the false start, plus six. You had, when, when did you think you had it? The 50, the 60? It was just playing with them, Dicko. <laughs> just playing with them. Not even <laughs> right. Pump. Pump. Who was your biggest stage you going in? Loaded up at a dollar 30. <laughs> <laughs> did you spot the, uh, the hammy in, in the right of screen? I did, I did. I, I'm normally pretty focused, Dicko, but I did see something out of the corner of my eye. I think I also heard Brad Johnson's hammy pop behind me. <laughs> it was like fireworks. It was like New Year's there for a moment. I, it was going OK. I thought I was a chance. I was shiny with my concern. Then I saw this blonde wanker fly past me on the inside. <laughs> Thought it must have been Rui. I knew he was too good. Sean, I had you at $1.30. Oh, mate. Honestly, tell us what happened. I don't know. Well, I was going fine, and then Gazy's legs just got in my lane. Like, he actually cut me off. I was, like, devastated, mate. But you know what? I think I got third, and I'm happy with that. Like, and, yeah, I'm happy. Gazy, <laughs> I'll just take you through the first 10 metres. You know, as a sprinter, you, you're down and you, you, you drive and then get up? Hey, you were up like a sprinkler mate, real early. You can talk all you want about strategy. I had it won, if not for the hemi. I was clearly in front, talked a little shit a little bit too early, and then things went horribly bad. The, the racing god said, no, sir, you're not allowed to do that. Bang. Just a mild uh, tweaking of the right hemi. So uh, I, I didn't lose. I just fell apart. That's how it is. What about, what about a rap or a slap for the winner, Rui? Did Rui win, did he? Yeah. <laughs> well, he... Uh, He's trained right off, hasn't he? I mean, the bloke just let himself go and is still able to perform. But, no, full credit to him. He, he took it pretty seriously, isn't he? It's, um... Didn't realise he's a bit of a tosser. I think I thought... That's Rui. Yeah, let go, let go in slow motion. What's this? Jesus, it's tough to tell from So you've got Sean, um, Joey well, and Del no, there. Can we have a look on that camera? Oh, oh, oh I don't three, know. Right? Okay. Shit. All right, just let me first and foremost thank everyone for competing and giving everything they had. 
except for Gazy, who left his heart in the car park. <laughs> but I do appreciate you all coming and having a crack. We might have had one or two slip under the handicapper's guard, but that will not happen next time. So, we had a clear winner, but there was a three-way photo for the placings, and it required a magnifying glass to actually separate them. So, in the bronze medal position, we have... Keep walking, because it's Joey Montagna! Well done, mate. Good stuff. In second place, we have, representing Bounce, Shani Layden. Oh, yes. <laughs> up on the podium, up on the podium. Thanks, JD. <laughs> and the winner, who genuinely fooled the handicapper and all involved, I knew something was up when he said, I'll deliberately false start so I go back further. Guilt, guilt, guilt. And then one by six metres eased down, Nick Rebolt. <laughs> the winner of the inaugural Fox Footy gift, Rui! Up the top, my friend. There it is. There it is. Hold well up. Dell when they were about to... Call Next out the question. second second position. Yeah. You had one step into the podium, but not to be. Well, it's becoming a habit. I'm getting used to standing here on big moments and watching other people get up on a dais and receive awards that I should have got. I mean, it's happened in 2009, twice in 10. And then Shani and Joey take out second. It's, it's, what is going on, Dicko? Well, you gonna lodge, are you going to lodge a protest? I clearly crossed the line and looked to my right, knowing that I've comfortably was, you know, a chest in front. And it's... Oh. Hey. I'm not coming back. There's always next year. Back. No, I understand that she's on the bounce and it's a good show and <laughs> it rates and all that sort of stuff, but if it's not, there's no integrity. Sour grapes. The game's gone to <laughs> shit. Sour grapes. Next year, Del, next year. Judges and Dunstall and whatever, I'm out of here. <laughs>